Hello everyone. Uh, not everyone is a narcissistic person. Some people are just hard to deal with. Uh, some people are just confident. Some are just egotistical. Some are just awkward. Some may have borderline personality disorder. We are all created unique. And as much as there is some truly horrible people in the world, there's also those people who need help and understanding and there's also millions upon millions of truly amazing kind generous honest people that want to give back and want to help if your ex had all the traits of a narcissistic person did the abusive manipulative things that you didn't even see happening to you to the point where you ended up questioning if you were a narcissist because of your reactions. Just ask yourself one thing. Have you ever behaved like that with others or only around narcissistic people? To defend yourself. You're not a narcissist. No matter what you did or did not say, did or did not do, you don't deserve to be treated the way a narcissistic person treated you. You have empathy and you're kind and you're generous. That does not make you a narcissist. Reactions do not make you a narcissist. You might now be questioning everyone around you. Um, you perhaps cannot get to grips with the idea that people like this do exist in the world, yet come across so normal at first and they still come across so normal to those around them. If you've spent weeks, months or years of your life with them, it's extremely difficult to move forward, especially if you've got children with them and you still have to see them. The best consequence you can give them is to let them go. Let them get on with their own inner misery. Let them hurt so much, all that hurt that they've got that they have to just pass on to others. One of the most awful things is a lot of the way they behave is due to some form of or could be due to some form of childhood trauma that they don't even remember. As you've probably tried countless times to help them. They've promised to change countless times, yet they never made that change. Why? Because most don't even know why they ended up like that. They just feel better about themselves when they destroy other people. The best revenge, the best karma, the best punishment is to go and do what they never can. Go and be happy, go and move forward with your own life. By feeling sorry for yourself and feeling hatred and feeling pain, which we all have to go through, so there's nothing wrong if you're feeling that way, you do need to go through the process. But if you continue down that route, that's only allowing them to steal more of your life from you. Yes, like I say, you do need to grieve, but you do need to move forwards with your own life. They don't deserve any more of your time, your love, your energy. They had all that. They didn't want it. They blew it. You tried to help them because you're a good person and they just could never accept that help. You might still be nervous when you have to see them whilst passing the children over or if you work with them. But if you work on you, it gets easier and to the point that you're no longer afraid. Again, I will just add some are extremely dangerous and safeguarding issues are a big risk for the children to have contact. So if you have those safeguarding issues, get away, far, far away, get all the restraining orders that you need put in place and keep you and your children safe. Those who don't have extreme safeguarding issues, however, you will learn that they are just one big bully and one big manipulative fool. And once you do stand up to them with your new found self self with your new found self respect and your new boundaries, you'll notice they cycle around the same cycle of manipulation tactics to try and get to you. Every time you don't react, they keep going and eventually they move on to the next. And when you don't react, they'll go on to another, eventually going back around to where they first started. You will see that pattern and you'll learn what's coming next. 
When you see what they truly are, when you stand back and observe how they truly act, you understand that they have no power over you anymore. To They're just desperately trying to get that reaction from you that they so need and they so want. When you know that you have the gift and the opportunity to teach your children with kind, positive words on who they are and their opinions and their values and how they want to be treated. With the right steps in place, with grey rock, limited contact, lots of explanations of opinions and boundaries and routine and respect, yes, at times it is tough. At times it's incredibly hard and draining. Yet for your children and for you, it is so worth it. They'll be able to spot a manipulative person a mile away when they're older. And you'll no longer be afraid of the narcissist and you'll no longer fear saying no to them. If you don't allow it, they no longer have any hold over you. If you don't react, they haven't got any more they can do to you. Children together or not, just stay out of it. Um, yes, again, it's hard if you've got children with them as you parent your way and they'll do whatever they can to get a rise out of you. So you've just got to step back and parallel parent. Your children will learn for themselves who was always there, who was always kind. Even if like all parents, you have the odd occasion of raising your voice or you didn't have the money to get something that they so desperately wanted. Children do need presence over presence. They need nurture and care. They need to feel understood. And around the narcissist, like you found out, they'll not feel understood, which is why limited contact, if possible, is a must. Only you know your narcissistic ex's tricks. Yes, they all have the same traits um, and people have eerily similar stories as to what's happened to them. But even narcissists are individuals. Only you know how your children are coping. Mine currently have one night in a week and one day at the weekend and they are thriving now. They don't see or hear from them every day. If that changes, then I'll change it. If a bigger safeguarding issue comes along, I'll do whatever I need to do and I'll just keep going. While ever it's working, I'll keep going. When it stops working, I'll have to whoop it. So if they don't see them at all due to safeguarding or if they see them once a year, once a month, once a week, you know what the narcissist is capable of. You know how your children are coping If they've managed to make you out to be crazy and they have custody, work on your recovery and then get up and fight for your children back. You can and you will do this. Forgiveness is not for them. That's for you. No matter what's happened, you deserve to be happy. Yes, bad things happen to good people, but it doesn't have to destroy the rest of your life. We have things that happen to us that shape us and change us. They no longer have to define you. What defines you now, you know who they are and you know not to react. The choices that you can make for yourself now, put up your boundaries today and no longer let them control you. Instead, control yourself, who you want to be and what you want to do. You are who you want to be. There's no wrong or right way.